Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dallas Market Center President and CEO, Cindy Morris, joined by Executive Director of Art, Sharon Davis. On behalf of Dallas Market Center, welcome to the 31st Annual Arts Awards. And to our finalists and special honorees, we appreciate your hard work and your commitment to excellence. We'll start the show after your meal. Cindy and I wanted to take a moment to thank you for attending. We appreciate this opportunity to come together and to honor our industry leaders. But we also wanted to honor two special individuals who passed away this year, Rick Wiedemer and Ann Gish. Let's take a moment to reflect on their contributions and legacy. Rick Wiedemer was the third generation owner and CEO of Hinkley Lighting. He spent 50 years in the family business and was a master of all elements of sales, marketing, and product development. He was also a caring and selfless leader. No one was more invested in the success of his family business and his business family than Rick. In fact, the best qualities of the home furnishings industry were personified and shared by Rick honesty, generosity, integrity, and perseverance. Here in Dallas, his leadership on the Lighting Board of Governors was especially generous. We know that Hinckley and the lighting industry are stronger today because of Rick, who was quite literally a Lighting Hall of Famer. We also know that the next generation was well coached and is uniquely prepared to lead the company forward. Gish began with silk placemats and napkins and created an empire. The textile entrepreneur founded her company in 1991 after a successful career in interior design. Anne had an unmatched eye for materials, colors, and textures. She was innovative, she was a perfectionist, and she worked hard to fill a void in the home furnishings marketplace. To those who knew her well, it was no surprise that she ended up selling more than 1,500 products to retailers around the world. When she opened her own store in Manhattan, Ann told the New York Times, quote, the philosophy of the store is to do what I feel like. That independence and confidence were passed along to her daughter, Jane Gish, who now serves as CEO alongside CFO David Phillips. We know that the company's innovative spirit is in capable hands. Thank you for your appreciation of the amazing industry leaders. We wish all of the finalists the very best of luck. Please enjoy your dinner and dessert, and we'll begin the awards afterwards.
welcome to the 31st Annual Arts Awards, honoring excellence in the home industry. To open the show, please welcome Dallas Market Center President and CEO, Cindy Morris. Joined by Executive Director of Art, Sharon Davis. joining us. Cindy, <laughs> I'm so glad to be here, guys. <laughs> Tonight we have the honor of welcoming a world-class group of finalists and special honoree and a distinguished bunch of presenters. So to all of you, and on behalf of Art and the Dallas Market Center, thank you for helping us celebrate. Mm. Folks, last week may have been New Year's Eve, but tonight we're all dressed up to kick off the new year with an epic celebration. And to serve as our party host, we welcome to the stage our Arts Award co-hosts, Carson Cressley and Tom Felicia. Good, good. Duh. going to be jazzy music for us to walk on to. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, girls. Thank you so Bye. much. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dallas. Hello. hello. Good hello. evening. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, my, oh gosh, my gosh. Look at all the people. This is amazing. Oh. I have to tell you, Carson and I were like so excited when we got invited mm -hmm. to this event. And we're like, oh my God, we're going to win an award. And then I was like, calm down, lady. We're just, we're co hosting. <laughs> You're not getting a prize. I You're know. not getting a prize. But we're very excited. Anyways, but it's and nice I, to come and out, though, know, and dress up. And yeah. after the holiday, I ate so many cookies, you know? I just, <laughs> they're everywhere. And I'm just like, <laughs> you can have pie for breakfast, right? Like during the holidays. It's in the fridge, I feel bad, I wanna eat it up. So I'm having like pumpkin yeah. pie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for like as long as it lasts, like I've, seven days. I've had him on a keto diet, so he kind of goes through these extremes. So I've got a cummerbund on, which is wonderful, <laughs> because it's like a man girdle, yeah. you know? Man-ish, man-ish. I, I call that area of flab that hangs right above my waistband my cummerbund anyway. <laughs> and, um, but if this busts no, loose, God. sir, at table 16, you yeah. might lose an eye. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sequins, warning you. Sequins everywhere, yeah. It it's could be... go at any moment. Yes. I oh had the ribeye. Well, so Carson, just... I know we have big shoes to fill because our pre you know, the, the, the previous uh, host of this event really knocked it out of the park. That's so what I heard. we got to keep it together. Okay. Well, as Cindy <laughs> said, uh, you know, New Year's was just a week ago. I don't really remember because I've been drinking buckets of vodka <laughs> since then. And wine uh, for breakfast. <laughs> there was more here, and I was like, I'll die it in February, 2021. <laughs> um, but um, in Dallas, you know, everyone always looks good. People know how to dress here, which I yeah. love. Well, come I on, love. Right? Yes, I mean, hello, this is Dallas. Mm. I mean, where people go to like, uh, to the gym in a, in a parade of Prada. Of course. I mean, look at this crowd, it's amazing. Yeah. You guys look incredible. And by the way, Carson, you look amazing. And I have to tell you, this is Thank a true you. story. I called Carson, I said, hey, Car, what's going on? Listen, what are you wearing? He's I made like, him go right to voicemail. No, you don't mail. understand. He goes, what are you wearing? Carson goes, what are you wearing? I said, well, I'm in a tribute to Cowboy. I'm going to just wear jeans and mm -hmm. like a blue dinner jacket mm -hmm. and just keep it real simple. I like it. And he's like, yeah, me too. Yeah, no, I, I said like, I was he's doing like, I'm subtle. going low key. I'm like, this is like, this isn't even low key for Liza Minnelli. But anyway. No. If, I mean, right? If I had matching pants, it would have been a little dazzling, but yeah. this is pretty subtle. Yeah, and by pants, he means underwear. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Well, we better keep it moving, Okay, Tom. yes, 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 I know. Okay, so we have quite the list of categories mm -hmm. uh, to march through, so without any further ado... Oh my God, I didn't know you spoke French. I do. We <laughs> <laughs> oui. oui. <laughs> Um, Aren't we going to open envelopes yes. like the Academy Awards? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yes, we are. Yes, yeah, and we then sort I'll say of. things like yes. Moonlight, and I'll be like, No, I'm sorry, Curry and Company. It'll, you know, it'll be fun like that. I don't know if they're winning or anything. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. We have accountants from the Dallas Market yes. Center who are yes. going to verify yes. everything. We are. We are going to get. Um, yeah, well, so we are going to open up envelopes. Yes, yes, and no. But, but right now we're gonna we're gonna welcome our first. Is that really oh, what you're so excited first, about opening envelopes? Yes, yes, I Carson, adore it. Carson likes long walks in the park, soup, and Lo opening envelopes. I like long walks <laughs> to the bar. Maybe that's why you're single. Oh, by the way, we're single. So we're totally hi. single. Single, and we are like yeah, looking for cowboys. We'll be at JR's okay. later. Yeah, and by the way, in six months, if we don't find cowboys, we're opening it up to cowgirls, so like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever it takes. I don't want to die alone. <laughs> we're getting up there. Anyway, let's bring um, it back around all to right. the script. Well, our first presenters, we're going to start with our first presenters, and our mm -hmm. first presenters are uh, the president of the American Lighting Association. Oh, I love the Eric, American Lighting yes, Association. Yes, Eric Jacobson and Vice President of Ivy Stone, Monica Loving, and we love your name, Loving. Oh, it's very... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we can't. We can't do it. We're very boring. So thank you, Tom and Carson. You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to join Eric. We're the boring people yeah, on not, stage. Not, not quite that boring. Not, not that boring. We're cute, though, there for our go. first Retailer Awards of the evening. That's right, Monica. Our first category, which is very near and dear to my heart, is lighting retail. So let's get things started by heading to the east. Lighting showroom nominees in the East Atlantic region are Chloe Winston Lighting Design of Norwalk, Connecticut. Hermitage Lighting of Nashville, Tennessee. And Shades of Light of Richmond, Virginia. And the Arts Awarder, I didn't Awards. even say it right. The Arts Award winner is Candace Pereira. Serving Connecticut with a team of experts with more than four decades of experience, Chloe Winston is a proud women-owned premier lighting destination. voted for us, who nominated us. This is amazing, our first year in business and winning this award. Thank you. Yes. 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 <laughs> we, um, we worked for a very big company that closed their doors after 97 years. We were left without a job and we said, we, what are we gonna do with our lives? This is our life, lighting is our life. We believe in the showroom, we, <laughs> We love this industry. We want to thank our reps, our manufacturers, our family who flew out from Connecticut, and our marketing agent, Ava Hunter, and our animals, Chloe, Chloe and, and Winston. Winston. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So moving right. right along, we're going to honor retailers from the middle part of the country. Right. Midwest Southwest showroom nominees are Accent Lighting of Wichita, Kansas. 
Ellen Lighting and Hardware of Stafford, Texas. And Idlewood Electric Supply of Highland Park, Illinois. Winning this year's Arts World is Idlewood Electric Supply. Idlewood is here. Idlewood Electric Supply is unable to be here tonight, so we are going to be accepting for Idlewood Electric Supply. Unfortunately, I don't know how we're going to split it up, but you want it? All right. Unfortunately, due to some health concerns and travel, they both uh, both Ottawa had to leave. So we will accept. For Ottawa Electric Supply. Y'all did it. Up next, it's time to head west. Lighting showroom nominees from the West are Illume Distinctive Lighting of Park City, Utah. Urban Lighting of San Diego, California. And Western Montana Lighting of Missoula, Montana. And the winner is Western Montana Lighting. And accepting, accepting is Drew Mahelish. With over 100 years of lighting and interior design experience in Western Montana, this retailer's consultants are dedicated to turning design dreams into reality. to even say. Um, I've been in this industry now for five short years and I'm just so very, very thankful for how open and helpful everyone in this industry is. Um, my staff, I could not do it without them. They're the most amazing people. I've got a gentleman that's been there since he was 18 years old. He's been there now 40 years and he's like my dad, um, but my work dad because I've got a great mom and dad that are here tonight to help as well. So wouldn't it be here without them? Thank you. So whether it's lighting, gift, or home decor, we can agree that sales reps are the lifeblood and the lifeline of our business. And I can tell you I have all the scars and the blisters to prove it. So let's move from east to west, honoring the best. Sales representative nominees in the East Atlantic region are Amy Lynn of Life Designs Group. Orlando Cancel of Ivy Stone. And Rush Muzakari of Global Views, Studio A Home. And the Arts Award goes to Rush Muzakari. <laughs> Rush covers much of Florida for Global Views and Studio A Home. Customers range from small to large design firms, as well as retail. Awesome. 
What an amazing award. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I want to thank my parents. My uh, mom and dad have been in this industry forever. My mom was an interior designer. My father had been in the business for uh, 50 years selling furniture fabrics. One of the things he always said to me as a rep is anybody can show fabric, but not everybody can sell it. You got to go out there and get the business. And uh, that's part of the thing he taught me in the motto I've been living by. So I want to thank everybody, my family at Table 28, Global Views, the partners. They have been amazing. Um, there's, uh, uh, the management group and all my fellow reps over there. I tell you, you, you can be a great rep, but you got to have the support of a great company that will back you up and go through the fire for you. And that's really what I really love about working for them. It's been the best five years of my career. Thank you so much. Thank you to all my South Texas customers. I want to thank all my Louisiana customers and now my new Florida customers. Thank you so much. It means a lot. So our next set of nominees are from the center of it all. My turn. Yep. Midwest Southwest sales representative nominees are Dawn Candy of Taylor's. Molly Harris of Harris Sales. And Stacy Coulter of Stacy Coulter and Associates. And the art and the arts award goes to Stacy Coulter. <laughs> Stacy represents several companies in furniture, fabrics, lighting, and wallpaper, and serves accounts in Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas with more than 25 years of experience. I'm so glad I wore my Depends tonight. Um, uh, um, I've been in this industry a long time, and it, you know, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of support, the amount of inspiration, um, the amount of love that comes from our industry. I sometimes think we take that for granted. And I just want to thank all the people that contribute daily, annually, Dallas Market Center, all the reps out there, because, hey, we all have our passion. We all love what we do. And I'm just lucky enough to get acknowledged for this, but I just want to thank y'all. I want to thank my team at my office, Grace and Kristen. Y'all y'all keep me tethered. You keep me grounded. Thank you for keeping me in the direction I need to stay. Um, thank you to the vendors who support and really understand who we are as representatives. You know, we're not really salespeople. We're really brand ambassadors. We're here to educate. We're here to train. Really, it's the designer who's making the sale for us. So those designers that open up your doors, open up your minds, let us partner with you, let us share in your success and your sadnesses, let us help grow your business. Thank you for opening those doors and valuing who we are. And a special shout out to our Terriers and Palachek who deeply support me. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all very, very much. Um, and also, I gotta thank before I forget this, is this not an amazing lighting production? I mean, Planet Productions, I don't know if y'all know, Brian Brothers and his team, amazing. Okay, I'm about to be done. Last person I need to thank is, so y'all, I just got married after 21 years of being together. Yes, yes. Um, Denzel, Denzel, you're my rock. You're the love of my life. Thank you for being there for me and riding on this adventure in this industry. I'm honored. Thank you very much. And then our final group of nominees serves customers throughout the West. Sales representative nominees in the West region are Andrea Combat of Art and Function, Heather Yakish, Leslie Taglio of Taglio and Company. and Sally Winnagle of Kadaris.
And the Arts Award goes to Leslie Taglio. Taglio and Company. Leslie's San Francisco-based company offers a full suite of services from sales to consulting. Her philosophy is centered on a passion for design, collaboration with customers, and desire to support women in business. Crazy shit. Uh, honestly, I had no idea. I had no idea. I thought I was Susan Lucci of the award ceremony. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everyone, and I, I've had an amazing career. My Norag family is with me tonight, and amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, the many vendors have been with me. My, I, I can't thank enough people. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. <laughs> The Arts Awards is a peer-nominated program with balloting open from April through June. Anyone in the industry may participate and may submit multiple nominations in several categories. Nominees and finalists are not required to be art members, nor to exhibit in Dallas. Nominations are vetted by the Arts Awards Nominating Committee, consisting of independent industry professionals. Finalists are announced in August and submissions are due in November when a panel of five judges independently reviews and scores each submission on specific criteria. A sixth judge, representing the Sustainable Furnishings Council, reviews only the manufacturer presentations to determine the green award winner. My favorite part is, has been learning um, about uh, companies and brands as a whole rather than just the product and the design, which is what I initially thought this was all about, but it's about Everything that goes into designing the product um, goes into the company culture, um, their corporate responsibilities, um, their employees. So um, it's been a real um, eye-opening experience and, and really interesting just to look at all the different um, kinds of companies and how they do business and all the exciting things they're doing. My favorite part about this judging so far is really learning all about the inner workings of every company from their corporate responsibility to how they work with employees, to how they manufacture, design, and make uh, all of their product. The scores are tallied and winners announced for the first time this evening. Nominations for the Academy of Achievement are solicited from across the industry and then are carefully researched and then named by an annual Arts Awards Committee of Art members. I do my hair toss. Please welcome Executive Director of the Sustainable Furnishings Council, Susan Ingalls, together with Chief Financial Officer for Global Views and current President of Art, Lois Del Negro. Thank you everyone and thank you to the Dallas Market Center in Arts for your continued advocacy for our industry and for promoting eco-friendly and sustainable practices. It is, it is my honor to have served as the judge for the Green Award, which is open to any of the manufacturer finalists in the Arts Awards. And this year, the Green Award goes to Curry and Company. <laughs> Accepting is Senior Vice President. And Multiple well, Arts Awards winner continues to innovate responsibly as they create distinctive home furnishings with natural materials, attention to details, and time-honored craftsmanship.
Wow, well, we'd like to thank everybody here at the uh, Dallas Market Center. We'd like to thank everybody who's a part of art. And I want to thank everybody on our team uh, who works really hard on this kind of stuff every day. And I don't know if you're familiar with what we do. I'm here to accept an award, but I'm a small part of a team of 125 people just working like hell every day. And so thank you, and have a good night. Korean company won. I'm like, I'm, it's like I'm psychic. I'm like the Miss Chloe <laughs> of lighting are. fixtures. You are psychic. Yeah. No, is, yes. it, or is it psychotic? I can't I remember. think, well, it's a little of both. It's a little of both. But Carson, this is, uh, you know, you were asking earlier and now it's, uh, this is your big moment. This is now when you get to open envelopes. Oh my gosh, can you You those? can show everybody all your okay. skills. Yes, the tension okay. is killing me. All righty. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, <laughs> home accent stores. I'm sure you are nervous as well, so let's move right into this category. I love home accent stores. <laughs> home accent store nominees in the East Atlantic region are Dixon Rye of Atlanta, Georgia. Michelle Varian of New York City. And White's Mercantile of Nashville, Tennessee. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, first this of all, I just want to let all of our finalists know that Carson has probably been a, a customer in your- uh, All in of your, them. Yes, all of them. Car I tell Carson all the time, I'm like, Carson, your apartment in New York, if you put one more decorative accessory in it, it's going to be a duplex mm -hmm. because it's going to fall into the apartment below. And this is a serious conversation we've had. One can <laughs> never have too many Fabergé eggs. <laughs> okay, are we all doing right. the East? Is this the East this Coast? Is, don't screw it up. Okay. Don't Let screw me. it up. Okay. The Arts Award goes to, and the envelope. Dixon Rye. Accepting as founder and owner, Bradley Odom. I love the name. With an outstanding assortment of well-made and handmade items, Dixon Rye deliberates on every detail in order to create a retail experience grounded in Southern heritage, but thoroughly modern. Um, thank you, wow, this is very cool. Um, thank you to the DMC and to um, the Arts Awards. Um, but mostly thank you to my team, especially Anne, who is with me tonight. Anne's been with me when this was totally just an idea and a dream. And, um, but I have like the coolest, scrappiest team, and they work super hard um, and put up with my crazy um, when I'm like, I have this idea. And um, it's great. But the best part of this is I hear that this award pays for a year's rent, right? Um, <laughs> so even amazing. Um, no, but thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I love the buffalo plaid. Yes. I like oh the buffalo God. plaid. I was going to wear exactly what she's wearing. I'm glad that we didn't do that. Um, all right. Okay. She looks amazing. Yeah, thank right. you so much. Yeah, and when I mean by she, I meant the woman. Oh, um, the thank you so much. Genetically not modified. Um, okay. Um, our next group of retail finalists proudly represent mm. the heartland, the mm. center of the country. And here we go. <laughs> Midwest Southwest nominees are Blueprint of Dallas, Texas. Eclectic Home of New Orleans. Flourish Home of Hamilton, Ohio. And the Design Bar of Burr Ridge, Illinois. 
I've been to all of those. They all have grainy <laughs> images of me on security cameras taped yes. to the back of the store yeah. saying, They're like, do if not you've let seen, this woman in. If you've seen this lady, lock the, the doors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hide your Fabergé yeah, eggs. Yeah. They're like, sir, ma'am, you're going to have to leave. <laughs> and the arts award goes to... Moonlight. Flur no. Okay. <laughs> Flourish, Flourish home. home. Accepting his owner, Deborah Campbell. Born in 2013, Flourish has quickly become a home decor destination in South Central Ohio. The team carefully curates products and works with small businesses, artisans, and entrepreneurs who share their mission. expect to get up here. <laughs> this is amazing. I, um, I want to thank the Dallas Market Center and Arts for hosting this and nominating me and to Michael Bauer and Nicole Garrison for their unbelievable hospitality. Thank you so much. Um, wow. <laughs> this, is, this feels really cool. This feels really cool. I remember my oldest son telling me that what he wanted to be when he grew up was to be famous. And I said, I don't want to be famous. I just want to be known for excellence in my industry. And so this really is just an amazing way to start 2020. Thank you so much. All righty. All right, moving right along. Here we go. Okay, up next, a collection of California retail stars. Home Accent Store nominees in the West region are Cozy Stylish Chic of Pasadena, California. Maker and Moss of San Francisco. And Pigment of San Diego, California. This is so exciting. Oh my God, don't screw it up. I won't. Did you get the right envelope? I think so. Oh my yes, God. Yes, Home Accents West. Are these real glasses or are those those attitude glasses that don't have, are they yeah, just fake? Yeah, they're just Let from the Mrs. I don't believe Beasley it. collection. I don't believe it. Oh my God, they're totally, there's nothing happening. Oh, you look good. Oh my God, wait, I had no idea that you were, are you blonde? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, here we go. And the winner <laughs> is Maker and, and Moss. Moss. Accepting his owner, Matt Bissinger. Inspired by natural elements, Maker & Moss is a destination for unique home provisions. Their artisan-driven, singular collections serve an astute, selective San Francisco clientele. This is, this is amazing. I was not really expecting this. Um, this business is a collaboration, and uh, I'm not up here alone. I'm up here with my staff, vendors, customers. There's so many people that I'm grateful to. So thank you for this. <laughs> OK, for this next category, this is very exciting. <laughs> Uh, let's honor retailers uh, with a multiple personality. Well, that sounds exciting. <laughs> it should be good. Nominees for Multiple Location Furniture Store. Cantoni of Dallas, Texas. Meekox Gardens of Southampton, New York. Nadeau Furniture with a Soul of Dallas. And Urban Styles Furniture of Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. Here you go, Tom. Okay, here we go. All right, so multiple personality stories. Mm. That could be like ice cream and accessories. Right, or <laughs> we love you, we hate you, now get out, but buy stuff. All righty. Well, the winner is, and the award, the arts award goes to so exciting, Meekox Gardens. Accepting oh. is manager Daniel Sneed. 
Me Cops. I just like saying it. The eight locations of Meacocks are dedicated to serving customers with a stylish balance between the indoor and outdoor living. While each location is stylistically united by a foundational Meacocks look, every local team adds their own personal design style and local flavor. Thank you, Dallas Market Center and Arts Award judges. We are very appreciative of this. Um, humbled by our wholesalers and um, the, everybody that supports us, especially our sales reps, who are invaluable. Um, we are very appreciative, and uh, congratulations to all the nominees tonight, and a very warm thank you to all of our eight Meacox locations. Thank you. I have to tell a funny story because uh -oh. this is really okay, real. Okay, fasten your seatbelt. Uh, I love me cocks. It just rolls off the okay, tongue. Okay, no, wait, wait. I told um, you about. Now wait a minute. I told you about. I told you about the last presenter. So yeah, no, like, I'm not so going to say anything appropriate. Think before you speak. Think so me cocks. Uh, they have a great store in Palm Beach, and they have like a garden. Thing. Oh, they left already. Um, <laughs> but um, it's wonderful stuff, and they have a discount if you're a designer. Well, guess what? I'm not really a designer. <laughs> but when I go there, I say, put this on Tom's account. And they give me, so Laura, no, no. you probably get some yeah. bills from Meacock. So I'm like, yes. when do we buy no. these bookcases? Right. That or was no. me. Or like five chairs show up at my office. And I'm like, that everyone's happen. like, I'm not sure exactly what these are for. And I'm like, call Carson. He is a loading <laughs> dot. That sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Um, anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Next, we want to honor our one location, one location. independence. <laughs> that sounds like your underwear. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> Single location furniture store nominees are Heather Scott Home and Design of Austin, Texas. IBB Design Fine Furnishings of Frisco, Texas. Joya Home Decor of San Antonio. And Lulu's Furniture and Decor of Denver, Colorado. Okay. Right. Okay, Carson, look at you. You're so good with envelopes. I really am. But you don't, I hear from your the people that you, like, bills are not your... Leave those around for a long time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and the winner is IBB Design Fine Furnishings. Accepting is the owner and designer, Shay Greer. Gear. 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 Gear it up. IBB serves North Texas with a stylish showroom, recently expanded to more than 85,000 square feet, offering furniture and accessories from around the world. The IBB team of more than 30 designers offers a full service experience, including every design detail for their loyal clients. Like the whole cast of the Irishman. Our team, our part of our team is here with us tonight. My mom is on FaceTime. If you don't know IBB, the B in IBB stands for Beth. My mom founded our business more than 40 years ago, and uh, she had knee replacement surgery a few weeks ago, so she unfortunately couldn't be with us, but she's FaceTiming with us right now. So Arts Awards um, Accessories Resource Team. <laughs> We love each and every one of you because I always say it takes a village and that's why I have our team IBB up here because it really does take a village and we appreciate all of our reps and our vendors and our clients and everybody because we cannot do this without you and we are so super grateful and to my mom who started our business but it was just her and today we have out of our house when I was like a toddler, um, my mentor, I'm going to cry, um, she's an amazing woman, and um, the stuff that she has done, and our team that we have, 
And we have 75 employees now, we just expanded, and it's because of everyone in this room. So please accept this with us, and thank you for your support and your gratitude. And we cannot do it without everybody. So tonight is a celebration of our industry and our clients and everybody that makes this happen. And we are so incredibly grateful, and thank you, Jesus. And everybody have fun! Thank you! Thank you. Oh my God, it's so, yeah, they're amazing. That's incredible, oh my God, I love that they travel. She travels with that many people all the time. She's in my showroom in High Point. They're the best, they are incredible. I actually did a book signing in their space. Oh. We had a lot of fun. I love being I part of the IBB team. Yeah, isn't it yeah. nice? Yeah. Carson, we're gonna get you hooked on phonics and that way you can read and yeah, maybe, maybe do a book signing. Cat, cat. Cat, sound cat. it out, sound it out. I love how you made a beeline for the hot one that looked like Paul Rudd, but muscular. I mean, well, you know, single, ready to mingle. Yes, IBB. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a I good mean, category. Come out. Uh, for our international category, let's head north of the border for this trio of lighting showrooms. Okay, that's north of the border. I'm being French Canadian. Very well, not, well done. Merci. Now do it like a man. <laughs> international retailer nominees are Montreal Lighting and Hardware of Mount Royal, Quebec. Park Lighting and Furniture of Edmonton, Alberta. And Robinson Lighting and Bath Center of Winnipeg, Manitoba. All righty, all righty, my French Canadian uh, vixen. Mer merci beaucoup. <laughs> all righty. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Oui, oui. I love when you do the, uh, well, anyways, I won't have you merci. do that. Merci. All right. <laughs> oui, oui. Ready? We. Oui. We. Oui. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the arts award goes to. <laughs> Sound it out. Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> Accepting is product specialist Jim, Jim Ormshaw. Ormshaw. Founded in 1936. The family-owned Robinson has grown to become a leading resource for consumers, designers, and builders in Canada. With more than 500 employees, Robinson operates responsibly and sustainably and believes in giving back to the communities they serve. Thank you, this is great. Uh, Shay Robinson, the president of our company, was uh, supposed to be here tonight. He was flying in and got to Dallas and ended up getting sick. So he's at the hotel and uh, he gave me a speech to uh, read on his behalf. It's an honor to accept this award on behalf of all of the Robinson employees as a business that has evolved considerably since its humble beginnings in 1936. We are very proud to remain family owned and operated. Our continued success is a testament to the phenomenal group of employees back home in Canada and to the long-standing suppliers partnerships. Thanks to the American Lighting Association for offering training, materials, and programs and bringing the industry to another level. And also to thank all the vendors that we deal with and also the Arts Award and the Dallas Market Center. Congratulations to the Robinson team for achieving this award and recognition. Thank you very much. The Arts Awards program is a collaboration between Dallas Market Center and the nonprofit organization ART. Founded in 1988, ART remains the only organization in the home furnishings industry dedicated to promoting home accents. Members are manufacturers and importers, retailers, sales representatives, and other industry professionals. ART brings the industry together to share, discuss, and solve common challenges. Get involved. Find out more at whyjoinart.org.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jane Seymour. Wow, aren't Tom and Carson amazing? They're hilarious. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for inviting me to this prestigious event, and, and thank you for all that you do to promote creativity within the industry. I have a, a special place in my heart for creativity and for the art, and I have a passion to paint and create sculptures and, of course, my uh, jewelry line, the Open Hearts Collection, which is dedicated to helping people open their hearts so love will always find its way in. But being here tonight is especially important for me as I have the honor of introducing this year's Academy Achievement Honoree, my dear friend, Michael Amini. So when I first met Michael some 12 plus years ago, like many, I was struck by his passion for the world of design and fashion. And I first realized that Michael was interested first and foremost with meeting me as an individual, other than a celebrity. It was established quickly that Michael was looking for someone who he could work and collaborate with for the long term. And in short, we needed to like each other. And it was apparent right from the start that we did. And uh, what would follow would be a rewarding experience as our collaboration of glam furniture hit the stores and has retailed wonderfully for the last 11 years. But it's, it's more than just business with Michael. Michael has an open heart that reaches beyond product design and production. Michael's efforts to support cancer and diabetes research is well documented, but a story that needs to be told. Michael understands the importance of giving back. The Michael Amini Transfusion and Medicine Center, the premier lead certified blood, platelet, and outpatient facility, is the heartbeat of the City of Hope campus in Duarte, California. So, um, one of the really fun things about working with Michael is his unique personal style. Um, there were times when I'd see what Michael's wearing, and I wondered if he was the actor in the relationship. And then he pointed out to me that possibly I only got to collaborate with him because I had been a Bond girl, and his dream has always been to not just play James Bond, but beat James Bond, <laughs> which is basically who he is. Either that or sometimes the Liberace of furniture. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, whenever I go to market, it's like, oh, God, what's Michael going to wear? I have to really up my game here because he is going to outbling me, like really outbling me. But you're very subdued tonight, Michael. <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness, I must tell you how proud I am to be here tonight, to be with Michael as he deservingly accepts this award. Michael, your contribution to the industry is admirable. Your vision as a marketer of our brand has been thoughtful and always on target, and the time that we've worked together has been a, it's been a really very, very special part of my life. We're family. Michael, I love you, and congratulations. But uh, while I'm up here on the stage to present this award, there are a few people you know who would love to congratulate you as well. So let's roll the video. Well, I think they broke the mold when Michael Amini was created because I've never really known anyone like Michael who has got this vitality and this this sense of just wanting to accomplish so much and he's always pushing boundaries with everyone around him to try to make everything much more meaningful and much more um, intently focused. For those that don't know him, I feel bad. They, they really need to get to know him because he's an incredible human being who does incredible things. Michael is larger than life and he lives up to it. 
He partners with stars, lets them have their greatness, but still is the driving force behind. There's no one like Michael. His passion just radiates out of him. And so it was so much fun actually getting to know Michael and to sit down with him, with our team. Michael breathes beautiful, fresh life into the home industry. He always wanted to be different. He didn't want to be ordinary. He didn't want to be like everybody else. And what was truly unique was the obvious value and the innovative features that Michael built into his products. He's a very creative guy, and, and not only with furniture, but you know, he's a jewelry designer, he's designed clothing, and unlike a lot of creative people, he also appreciates that there are other elements of creativity um, that can complement what he does. He understands that people are what make it happen. Michael understands that his role is to, to have a vision, to execute it, to get it to product, but, to, but he understands that having people, having a team, is what really makes things come together. And our company is, we, we really call ourselves the ICO family. When, when we hire um, somebody to come to work for us, we don't want them to come and, and feel like they're coming to work in a job. We want them to feel like they're a part of a family. Michael leads by example, and the things that strike me the most are the hows, how he works with everyone, how he engages with every person on his team. He shows them respect, he shows them dignity and kindness. You, you want to follow Michael, you want to be with him and to make things happen that he's trying to achieve just because of the way he approaches everything. So when Michael got involved with the Hall of Fame, it, it really needed some help, it needed some energy, it needed some creativity. And he did it by taking everyone's attention and saying, why should we be called the American Home Furniture Hall of Fame? We need to include other aspects other than just furniture. We need to get the home accents people and the rugs and the lighting people and other, every other aspect of the home decor business involved. So they worked to change, the, officially change the name of the Hall of Fame to the American Home Furnishings Hall of Fame. And so he changed the concept of people's perception of the Hall of Fame from kind of a dour event to this really fun, amazing event that you could actually go to and have a great time for the evening. He feels for others, he knows it's time to give back, and he, as he is in all fields, is a leader in giving back to the community. Part of this is evidenced by his enormous activity and generosity with the City of Hope. Michael's greatest gift is he brings joy to people's lives. And you can see that when he's walking through the halls of the hospital. You can see that when he's standing proudly in front of the Michael Amini Transfusion Medicine Center. When, when Michael gave us that building, in essence, it tripled our blood donor capabilities. It quadrupled our blood processing capabilities. It's easy to say it is the beating heart of City of Hope, and it allows us to fulfill our mission to see more and more patients who have no other place to turn to. Michael is a beacon of hope and joy to everyone he runs across. Michael, congratulations on this well-earned award. I'm so proud of you. Michael, congratulations for this richly deserved honor. My friend, you deserve it. Michael, we are so proud of you for getting this award, for inspiring people, and for making a difference. Congratulations, Michael. This honor is well-deserved. Congratulations, Michael. Congratulations, Michael, on this well-deserved recognition. It has been a pleasure and an honor to become your friend. Congratulations, Michael Amini. You know how incredibly proud I am of you and your accomplishments, and I'm so pleased to be personally associated with you in this industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arts Awards Academy of Achievement honoree, Michael Amini.
Thank you. I'm truly uh, speechless. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Dallas Market Center and uh, Arts Award Committee. Thanks to all my friends at the video, the ones that they have traveled from near and far, and they are here to celebrate this with me. And thank you all for being here to make it such a memorable event. And uh, I have to say, Jane has flown from Spain last night just to be here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Jane Seymour. Jane, thank you so much for your kind words, friendship, and these last 12 years working together, our collaboration has created both a business and personal bond that I'm very grateful for and I look forward to many more years, wonderful years ahead. And thank you all. As I'm humbled by this recognition among such prestigious leaders in our industry. The efforts of art as a creative home furnishing network, bringing together manufacturers, retailers, and representatives in this wonderful venue shows the dedication and vision of an organization that gets it. The passion of art board and many committees that drive meaningful events from the education conference, promoting awareness of trends to the under 40 group that uh, seeks new ideas and networking opportunities are what makes our industry great. So many of you here tonight deal in the fashion area of home furnishing, which is near and dear to my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in fashion business. When I started my business 32 years ago, my passion was fashion. My family was in textile business and I loved spending time with my late auntie who was a professional and a famous tailor. She would review fabrics and teach me how to cut and sew, and I marveled at the wide range of fabric applications. My late father was an inspiration, was a true inspiration to me in my early years, and played a big role in encouraging me to travel to places like Europe when I had the opportunity to absorb old European architecture. It was my travels to Europe prior to going to college that provided me an appreciation for classic style and castles and cathedrals that spoke to me. After living several, in several European countries and moving to the United States to attend college, I had an opportunity to explore. While my degree was in electrical engineering, I soon realized that my creativity was pulling me in the direction of fashion. I took a step at designing clothing and shoes and imported them from Italy for a short time. But I quickly realized that not having enough money, the risk was greater than the reward. However, I knew that the design was what I wanted to pursue. Out of desperation to find a job, I took a position in Los Angeles with a furniture manufacturer as a sales representative hoping to make a living, but with an idea that perhaps I could learn 
about products and be able to design home furnishing that are inspired by the architecture I loved in Europe. The idea led me to my first trip to Asia to visit furniture shows and learn the manufacturing process where I made the decision to follow my passion. And it resulted in purchasing my first container of furniture, buying a used truck, and delivering furniture up and down the streets of Los Angeles, selling to furniture stores. I even purchased defective products and repaired them myself and resold them to my customers. So many memories takes me back to those days of taking chances and following dreams. So much has happened in those years since providing a roller coaster of success and failures that have built our company. But it is the fashion, it is the fashion of it all that keeps me striving for more. While trends are important, I've often said that a design, a, as designers, our job is not necessarily to provide customers with what they want or what is current or in the market. A real responsibility in design is to provide ideas that customers have never imagined. Steve Jobs develop technology that all of us here today can live without. Yet, when he designed the iPhone, we could have never imagined what a necessity it was. In home furnishing, customers today don't really care about our challenges we all face in bringing products to the marketplace. They simply want products to provide an environment and an inspiration of a dream come true. My personal taste in home furnishing may be inspired by the architecture of old European palaces, but what excites me in this business is the opportunity to bring a room together that is unique, elegant, and truly one of a kind. No matter if it is classical, contemporary, glam, or mid-century modern. It is the elements of the complete room that makes the dream a reality. If we sell the environment, we sell the dream. A house that is just staged with furniture does not impress anyone. But when you add rugs, lighting, wall art, and accessories, you create the elements that transform a house to a home. It is the efforts of all of you here tonight that represent the vital and critical key to home fashion. It is with great pride that I'm here tonight to accept this award. But I must thank you all for what you do by understanding that home furnishing does not have to be a commodity. And that through the efforts of presentation, passion, and pride, we stand tall as an industry developed to making dream come true. Thank you so very much. And God bless you all. Thank you. Please welcome back to the stage, Tom Felicia and Carson Cressley.
That was like stripper music. I love that intro. <laughs> um, well, first of all, um, I just want to say um, congratulations uh, to Michael. First of all, as uh, an amazing business person in our industry with a very, very clear vision. Um, but also, I want to thank Michael for his work in the medical um, sort of space because as a bone marrow donor for my brother, who's very healthy, by the way, um, I understand the importance of that research and what, uh, and what he's doing. And so I want to thank you, Michael, and say you're a wonderful man because um, it's a really important thing that you're doing at many levels. And also, Jane, that was a beautiful tribute. And thank you, Carson and I, thank you for our shout out. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jane. Um, you're oh, up. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Tom and I are back to move us safely and securely to the second half of the program. We're like flight attendants, but with cuter outfits that are less flammable. <laughs> By the way, when you say less flammable, you're talking about my outfit. Yes. Okay. Um, and yes, um, I can't believe that we were asked to be the ones to move people safely and securely. <laughs> no That's, irony. The, the, the people that they asked originally must not have been available. Yeah, no. Um, but um, my heart, because of what I do, goes out to this next group of creative finalists, our product designers. Nominees for product designer are Charles Pavarini III of Pavarini Design, Clarence Malari of Curry and Company. Justina Blakeney of Jungalo by Justina Blakeney. Ron Henderson of Veraluz. Sean Laven of Visual Comfort and Company. The envelope, please. Carson, aren't you excited about that? I am. That was like your big moment. It was. I really, I really, you know, savored yeah. it. Did it you know? It was very this? masculine. Thank you. Right? I know. Totes Must have mask. been a big surprise to the family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, read the winner. <laughs> Wait, I. Th <laughs> it's right there. All right, and the winner is Sean, Sean Lavin. Lavin. Visual comfort. We love Sean. Come on up, Sean. Sean is known for his sophisticated modern designs, utilizing the latest technology and craftsmanship. His inspirations span different cultures, architecture, and even fashion. Wow, I was not expecting this. Um, thanks, everyone. Uh, I want to thank the Art Arts Award for the nomination. Um, my team back in Chicago, the Houston team, for all the support we get. Uh, I've been very fortunate to work for a company that supports designers and, and creativity and originality. So I want to thank Andy Singer of Visual Comfort for giving me this opportunity to kind of express my vision through lighting design. So, and my, my super fans. I got to thank my wife and my kids at home who put up with all the travel that I do. So thank you so much. Uh, and thanks, Team Taylor. Thank you. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Okay, so Carson, high style, mm -hmm. business savvy, and fearlessness in addition to dashing style. Are they talking about us? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about our five amazing finalists for interior design. Ooh. Mr. Producer, let's hear all about them. Bring it on. Nominees and interior design are Joni Vanderslice of J Banks Design Group. Megan Swab of M Swab Interior Design. Laura Umansky of Laura U Interior Design. 
Libby Langdon of Libby Langdon Interiors and Shayla Kopas of Shayla Kopas Interiors. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, here we go. And the winner, I'm creating dramatic tension. <laughs> for this arts award. <laughs> Take some time. It's like Take a reality some... show. <laughs> like I'm gonna hand out a rose. Oh, I'll be on The Bachelor on Monday. Oh. Uh, and the winner of this award is Laura Umansky. <laughs> Where is she? Laura is recognized for her keen design eye, but also for her ability to discover what matters most to clients and then articulate those values through what she calls classically current design. Laura's brand partnerships and collections further extend her visually stunning, exquisitely detailed style. Guys, this is so exciting. I know that everyone says this, but I really wasn't expecting this at all. And I'm just, I'm so honored to be included with such an amazing group of nominees. Um, and I wanna thank my work family, uh, my leadership team that's here with me tonight who make every one of these interiors possible. Uh, there is no way that I could do this on my own. And they're just a bunch of rock stars. And thank you to my family, to my daughters, and to my husband, Michael, who is my biggest fan. And um, I love you. And the journey continues. So thank you all so much. <laughs> Join Art in Fort Myers, April 2nd through the 5th for the annual Art Conference featuring seminars, interactive workshops, unique networking, and community service. New to the schedule is Accent on Design, a one-day pop-up collaborative for interior designers, retail stores, and art conference attendees. Find out more at accessoriesresourceteam.org. Please welcome global trend expert, Patty Carpenter, joined by interior and product designer, Christopher Grubb. Good evening. Hi, everyone. How are we? Doing well? Congratulations to all the winners thus far. I just want to say that I'm so excited to be here. Thank you to Art and the Dallas Market Center, but it's my first time presenting, so I'm a little nervous, so please bear with me and give me smiling faces. But Christopher, he's from Hollywood. I know you've presented before. Mm, <laughs> not really. So I've got a, I've got a good story. So um, Costume Designers Guild Award, you would love from fashion. Yeah. They award television, movie, costuming. Um, Jane Seymour is presented there. So friends of mine are in production, they come out to the audience and they grab me and my friend, they're like, oh, we want you to introduce Deborah Messing. Oh, she's like, beautiful Ooh. in person. Oh, she's beautiful. Well, she's not Carson Cressley beautiful, but she's beautiful. <laughs> so I'm walking backstage, I'm like, okay, wait a minute, why me? You know, I see her at breakfast place once in a while, did she recognize me? No, we get back there, there's a platform on wheels, stanchions, of rope, velvet ropes, she's sitting down in a 200 pound Swarovski dress she can't stand up in. So we have to wheel her out to the stage. Oh my God. It was awesome. This is easier. Was it, <laughs> were you nervous? Oh yeah. Can you imagine, we didn't get to practice. Deborah Bessing over in a 250 pound dress, I'm on video picking her up. The only time it's worse, when I'm doing house tipster interviews and Tom Felicia's in the room, it's not suitable for work. I have so many outtakes. Laura knows so <laughs> There he exactly. is. Exactly. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. oh, God. So let us go back on to script. <laughs> yes, yes. So our product finalists tonight include nearly 40 different manufacturers. So rest, let's roll out the first category. Area rugs. 
Nominees are Jaipur Living, and Norasan. And I'm proud to announce that this year's Arts Award goes to Jaipur Living. <laughs> Accepting is Director of Brand and Digital Marketing, Carl Henriksen. Resting on sustainability and a vertically integrated business model, Jaipur has grown to one of the world's leading rug manufacturers by offering continuous improvement in quality and artistry. Wow, this is fun. Uh, really honored to be here. Uh, on behalf of everyone at Jaipur Living, everyone back in Atlanta, and a uh, quick shout out to the Dixon Rye folks from Atlanta too. Love your weekly emails, they're amazing, inspiring. Um, but more than that, I'm here also really for all the artisans. Jaipur Living, we're all about the 40,000 artisans in over 600 villages in India and standing really on the shoulders of our founder, N.K. Chaudhry, and his daughter, Asha Chaudhry. And they had this crazy idea, or he had this crazy idea, that if you invest in goodness, fairness, and love, eventually profits will follow. And we're standing on his shoulders, and just again, so grateful to the Arts Awards, to all of our great customers who are here, and to all of you. Thank you. Next category is highlighted by stylish and adaptable designs. Nominees and home accents are A and B Home, Howard Elliott Collection, John Richard. Park Hill Collection. And Zodax. And the Arts Award goes to Howard Elliott Collection. <laughs> Accepting is President Brian Burke. <laughs> Since 2001, Howard Elliott has been redefining the home furnishings industry with innovative designs of decorative mirrors, accessories, and accent furniture. They continue to distinguish themselves from competitors with effortless adaptability. That I wanted to see this, but, you know, after four or five years of doing this, uh, there it is. <laughs> humbled. I'm very humbled. Um, this was a team effort. Um, Colleen, Jody, my wife, Davey. I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. Um, I do have the... Uh, the speeches from uh, 2019, <laughs> 2018, <laughs> 2017, <laughs> and so on and so forth. You know, I think the greatest thing about our industry is that we constantly have the opportunity to push each other, to set the trends, and create extraordinary products that people proudly display in their homes. And it's just, it pushes us every day. My fellow nominees, they're all great companies, and uh, they were for the last four years too. Um, thank you again, I really appreciate it.
So up next is a strong category of design drivers and innovators, my tribe. <laughs> Accent Furniture. The nominees are Bliss Studio. Hooker Furniture. Norwalk Furniture. Revelation by Uttermost. And Theodore Alexander. Okay, so the winner is Reve Revelation by Uttermost. And accepting is Matt Cooper, the CEO and President. Debuting in 2016, Revelation by Uttermost is a design-driven collection featuring authentic materials and finishes, great attention to detail, generous proportions, and sophisticated designs. Thank you. Like the view from up here, this is great. Thank you all for letting me come back. It has been a while, sort of like Brian said. I'd like to thank Art in the Dallas Market Center. Well done once again. Uh, this may be the best one yet. I'd like to thank the entire Uttermost family all over the world. You guys make it fun. Thank you. And I'd like to say a special thank you to our new creative director of Revelation, Rick Janicek. He's actually on his way to Portugal to work on some more uh, ceramics, so he's not here. I'd like to dedicate this award to my parents. They started Uttermost uh, over 40 year, uh, 45 years ago based on the principles that we still follow today. Most of this is really simple stuff, like treating other people like you want to be treated, projecting humility, not arrogance, doing right even when no one is looking, our strategies are always changing, but our principles stay the same. So thanks again for this awesome award. It's, all, it's wonderful to work with so many bright and talented people like we have in this industry. And finally, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless, guys. Thank you. And I'm doing a shout out, Table 34, I love you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now we are thrilled to move along to our next category featuring the softer side of the home. Nominees and home textiles are Avasa Home, Kevin O'Brien Studio. Lace Field Designs and Lily Alessandra. And I'm proud to announce that the Arts Award goes to Lily Alessandra, <laughs> accepting as founder and designer Sandra Hernandez Yedor. <laughs> Over the last decade, Lily Alessandra has become synonymous with luxury soft furnishings for the home. Their passion for artistic expression updates classic textile designs for the contemporary marketplace. The results are an aesthetic that ranges from old world to neoclassical to modern. So um, thank you, Art, uh, Dallas Market Center, and Sharon and Nicole, who was there for us at the 11th hour when we were like, oh God, what do we do? How do we answer this? Um, for those of you who may not know a little bit about us, um, this has been a journey 
that this guy has been with me since the beginning. <laughs> anyway, this was um, Lily Alessandra. Actually, this was our 10-year anniversary, so it was a great time to get this beautiful award. Thank you. And this was a second chance or third chance for us. Third. We were out of work, by the way. Um, we used to work in, a previous, in our previous life, and uh, we both got laid off. We had no way of making a living, and so we were like, what do we do next? And I said, well, let me figure this out. And this, we were just seriously trying to figure out how to make a living, and here it is. So we did. Anyway, thank you very much. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, let's just keep things move. Oh, let's keep things moving along with the next set of stylish finalists from the top of the table. The nominees in tabletop: Abigail's, Cascada Artisanal Home. Rosanna. And 10 Parade. Calm down, Sherry. That's my table. <laughs> you go. Calm down, Sherry. You go. <laughs> so the winner tonight is Cascada Artisanal Home. And Sean Laughlin, the owner and uh, designer, is going to be accepting the award for them. The Cascada team makes dinnerware that is chic and stylish, but approachable. The unique blend of classic and contemporary pieces is easy to mix and match, and makes it simple to set a table that customers love. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you to the ART team. Thank you, Dallas Market Center. We are a tiny, tiny company. And this is our third one of these beautiful things that we have won. I am um, so grateful. It's very hard to be an entrepreneur. And it has, um, as Michael Amini said, a roller coaster sort of a feeling to it. And you're keenly aware of the low points. Um, but there are these amazing high points, and this is one of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so, <laughs> our next finalists are delivering high style to outdoor living. Nominees and outdoor living are Kanoa, O. W. Lee, Hollywood. and Zuo Modern. And the winner is Pollywood. And accepting the award, I'm sorry, is Angie Metzler, uh, Business Development Manager. The team from Pollywood believes life is about following your passion. Theirs is creating comfortable and stylish outdoor furniture that's great for the earth and built to last. Since 1990, they have been proudly American-made and focused on strong designs to be enjoyed season after season. Wow, 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 wow. This is very, um, very exciting and amazing for us. Um, we, I'm very honored to accept this award on behalf of Pollywood. Um, all I have to say is that we started the Pollywood design team um, a year ago and you guys have been so supportive 
and welcoming to us and we thank you very much for everything that you've done for us and for this I'm very honored to accept this on behalf of Hollywood so thank you very much such a nice break yeah. we got to go to the bar hooray for Hollywood mm -hmm. oh my god hooray oh. for Hollywood and okay I would also um, like to personally shout out hooker furniture so inclusive <laughs> thank you why did you look at me when you said hooker I don't know I'm just you know used to it <laughs> oh my goodness all right Tom and I what? oh we have breaking news oh okay what are you are Carson are you a CNN correspondent I am right now I uh, hear this all the time oh, these days okay oh, breaking news Lassie okay tell us what is it all right we're in the home stretch everybody <laughs> all right yeah yeah the home get it yeah home get it stretch home stretch yeah because it's Carson's a home thing. bringing it full circle yeah. anyway carry on all right all right, now mm -hmm. I know you're mm -hmm. you've brought it full circle. Mm -hmm. You are amazing. No, I got it. Home stretch. Keep going. You are a smart, funny lady. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay. And now we are thrilled to move along to this artful group. Cheers. Cheers. Wall decor. Nominees are Benson Cobb. Paragon. Phillips Collection. Shadow Catcher's Art. And Spiker and Company. Mm. Oh, we're back. <laughs> I know, you're, you're the booze hound over here, okay. Yeah, um, envelope, please. All right, you're so good at this. Thank you. <laughs> and winning the arts award is Phillips, Phillips Collection. Collection. <laughs> Accepting is President Mark Phillips and Vice President Jason Phillips. The designs from Phillips Collection are unique, inventive, and dimensional. They add a visual compliment to any room and always spark a conversation. Is Mark really not coming up here with me? <laughs> ah. Well, thank you everybody so much. Um, this is a category we have not entered for a while, but I really think it's um, one of the categories I'm proudest of because we do uh, really wild things for the wall. We, we love to be different and I remember uh, specifically one piece we did, the square root wall decor. It's, uh, it started its life as a coffee table and who else but Mark Phillips said, how would that look on the wall? So um, we are the sort of company that goes by the beat of a different drum and it's so nice to get recognized by the organization. So thank you Art, thank you Dallas Market. Uh, thank you to the great team we have, including Taylor's, who's in full support of us here. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Alrighty. Remember that time I rode their lion at Phillips Company? I thought you were going to say, remember band camp. No, no, I was never in the <laughs> band. <laughs> One time, no, band no. camp. Okay. All right, stop talking. All right. Our next category of powerhouse finalists are like jewelry for every room. The category is lamps. The nominees. Adesso. Oli Studio. Pacific Coast Lighting. The Natural Light. And Visual Comfort and Company.
All right, the envelope, please. Oh, Carson, you might want to rinse that off. Um, <laughs> all righty. And the arts award goes to. This is so exciting. Visual, Visual Comfort, Comfort and Co. Company. President Charles Neal, come on up. Yeah. Multiple Arts Awards winner Visual Comfort continues to wow the industry with signature designer lighting. Their collections from classic to contemporary create stylish compliments for indoor and outdoor living. Wow. Um, thank God for Dallas Market Center, right? What a venue. What an event. Thanks to arts. You know, on behalf of the nearly 900 or so people here in this country working for Visual Comfort and thousands of people around the world making the product. And I do also want to thank, um, really, really thank Taylors for being such a terrific host and a powerful rep force. And um, just thanks to everybody who continues to support and trust us for what we do uh, in all the categories that we're in. Uh, congratulations to all the other nominees, all the winners here tonight. And uh, just thank you very much. Have a good night. Righty. You know what they could do? You could just put a light bulb under that trophy and it would look like a Kelly Wurstler sconce. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Oh my God. Visual comfort. It's a new she's idea. She's always thinking this yeah. one right here. You're welcome. She's just a, she's a real wealth of You're welcome. Yeah, stuff. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. All righty. So um, for, believe it or not, guys, for our final category of the evening. Oh my God, already? I know. Aren't you going to miss us? You're going to be like, oh, where'd those two go? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to miss you. We've had a blast. Go so um, this is our final category of the evening. We have many of the strongest and most elegant designs for the home decor. Don't cry, Carson. Okay. It's, I'm, st I'm here for you. Um, all righty. Take Let's it away. Take it away. <laughs> The nominees in lighting fixtures. Curry and Company. Hammerton Lighting. Hubbardton Forge. Kitchler Lighting. and Rochambeau. I wanted to let the techno fade out and <laughs> build the suspense. And the Arts Award goes to... Don't you want to say envelope, please? Oh, sure. Envelope, please. All right, there you go. It's heavy. This is so exciting. All right, oh my God. Okay, wait, ooh. And Lots the winner is... Curry and Company. Accepting is President Brownlee Curry, Creative Director, Cecil Adams, Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Bob Ulrich. Come on up. This is the second award of the night for Curry and Company, whose lighting fixtures are recognized for their craftsmanship, strength of design, and attention to detail. Well, I'm no less surprised, but a little better prepared this go-round. <laughs> so it takes a lot of people. I'm really worried about what's going on behind me. <laughs> it takes a lot of people to do what we do. And I wanted to take a minute to thank our creative team, really all of whom is here tonight. So Tom Caldwell, Cecil Adams, Ian Thornton, Clarence Malari, Amy Kersner, uh, Y'all each do 
individual magnificent work, and I know you all put your hearts into it, and I'm so appreciative of what each and every one of you do. Bob, yes. <laughs> this is Bob's 25th year with our company. And we wouldn't be who we are without him. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. All righty. Oh, my God. Well, oh, my God. First of all, this has been an incredible evening. It's so much fun to see so many friends and familiar faces and have an opportunity to meet so many new incredible um, you know uh, people that are you know moving this industry forward in a really exciting way and I'd also like to thank my co-host Miss Carson Cressley who I have to say we're doing these we do these events together and we always have so much fun doing it and so thank you, Miss so Miss Cressley. You're, you're so the best. Welcome. I don't care what everybody else says about you. I think you're fabulous. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, and I also want to thank big round of applause for Miss Carson Cressley. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, please sit down. Please sit down. No, no. Um, <laughs> we really want to thank. <laughs> we really want to thank uh, the Dallas Market Center and Art for producing this amazing event. Look at how beautiful this event is. Yeah. They really knock it out of the park for real. And I hope that we um, have, uh, we didn't do anything. We, I don't think we did anything bad. No, I only I said we meat okay. cocks. You did say that, I got nervous. Yeah. I almost pooped in my depends when you said that. Yeah. But anyways, thank you all. And thank you all for being here. Yeah, and thank sponsors. you, Laura Beck. And I also, we also want to thank our sponsors. So thank you everybody and thanks to everybody here. Mm. And I hear that the officially unofficial after party is right outside. Yeah. So we'll see you there yeah. and good night. Get your drink on. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wait, somebody's glasses are here. And these are real, they're not like Tarsus. Those are good.